Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Watercolor Hour. Today we're going to be painting a hibiscus flower. I'm going to go over everything that's in the kit. So you should have this photo of the final painting. You should have a sheet to trace. You should have a set of four colors. These are Van Gogh watercolors, permanent red deep, rose, lemon yellow, and sap green. You should have some blank watercolor paper. And you should have two brushes, a round size six, and then a detail brush. You'll wanna grab a pencil so that you can trace the image that we're going to paint, and also some water and paper towels. So the first thing you'll need to do is to trace your image. So if you have a light box, you can use one of those. You can also hold up the template to a window, put this on top, and then trace it that way. So I'm going to swatch out these colors just so you see what they look like. So when I swatch colors, I like to grab the paint with just a little bit of water on my brush so that the paint is darker. So you can see how dark it is. And then if you rinse off your brush, You can drag it down to see what the lighter colors look like too. So now I'm going to do rows. And lemon yellow. it up here. And our sap green. I've got room up here. Okay, so those are our four colors that we'll be using. The flower itself is a mix of the red, the rose, and the lemon yellow. That's how we get that kind of peachy color. So if you've got a plate or a palette like this to use, that'll be helpful. So you'll wanna make enough that it's gonna cover all the petals. So I'm gonna start by putting some water in here. And I'm probably gonna fill two of these. If you have something like a water dropper, that is also very helpful for this. Okay, so I'm gonna mix an even amount of the red, the pink and the yellow, and just see what that looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of a coral shade. If you want more red in it, then you would just change the amounts um, of paint you put in for the different colors. So I like this color, so I'm going to leave it, um, but I'll show you. Let's see. Adding more red. We'll deepen it. You could also add more yellow. Or more pink. So I recommend that you play around with the colors before you get started just to see what color you like because these flowers come in many different colors so you don't have to stick to this shade. So I'm going to mix my paint. This is a lot of water, so I'm having to add a decent amount of paint. And 
And as you're mixing, you can kind of see the color changing. This rose color is a pretty strong shade, so you may not need as much of that. And the yellow. Because I've made two batches, I'm going to see they should be similar enough that I can use either one. But I just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. So there's my main shade. For the leaves, we're mostly going to be using this sap green color. But we're going to be doing it in layers. So we're going to start with a light green layer and then go over the top of that with a more concentrated green. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint in the leaves with some sap green. And I'm going to water it down so it's a light shade. A little bit more green. If you're testing this at home, you should have a scrap piece of paper in your kit. Uh, but you can also use the side here. Okay, so I'm going to fill in my leaves. I'm working on the edges first. This smaller one. And this paper is cotton, so you'll probably notice that it soaks up a lot of water, um, but that allows you to blend a bunch of different colors together and lift the paint off the paper if you need to and work in different layers. And you also may have noticed that with all of the classes this summer sometimes the paper seems a little bit different um, and that's because I've had to keep switching brands. Watercolor painting is apparently very popular right now so it's kind of hard to get as much paper as I need for the classes so I've had to jump around to different brands. Okay. Now for this one, this is the little flower bud, so we're gonna do a light wash of this coral color. And then we'll come back later and make it a bit darker on one half. Okay, now I'm gonna start working on some of the petals. We're going to need to avoid this stamen here in the middle. We'll paint that later on. Um, if you have masking fluid at home, you can use that, um, but we're just going to be careful and switch between the brushes that we're using to sort of get around this small area. So for the flower, I'm going to be working uh, one petal at a time and I'm going to leave a space in the middle just so that the colors aren't all pooling together. So I'm going to start with this one because it's not touching the leaves over here. This is still wet, so if I start working on the petal it'll 
just bleed together. So I'm doing a very light wash of the coral shade that I mixed earlier. And it doesn't have to be even. So some of the areas here are lighter and that's fine. Um, and I'm going to put some red, just red in my palette and add some of this. So I'm wanting to get a darker shade. So I'm just mixing up the same color but with less water so that it's darker. Okay. So you can see this is the shade that I was starting with and this is the one I mix now. And I'm just running it along the edge. And then I rinse my brush off and just kind of blend this so that it's not concentrated all in one space. So I'm just dragging the paint out. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm going to grab that darker shade again. And just run it along the sides. And I rinse my brush off and just blend this. This is still pretty wet, so I'm going to go ahead and use a blow dryer to dry that off. Now that those are dry, we're going to do the same thing with these two leaves and then I'll go ahead and blow dry that and then work on the last one.
So now we're going to work on this last flower. I'm going to mix a little bit more of this darker shade that I had earlier because I've run out. So just a little bit of water and all three colors in here. Okay, that's pretty similar to the shade I had earlier. Now with this one, you want to avoid the center here. So if you're having trouble with this larger brush, you can put your paint down around the outside of the petal. And just make sure that you have a little bit of extra paint on the paper when you do this. And then once you get to the center, you can switch and use your smaller brush. And either grab some paint with it or just drag the paint here from the center. So I'll do the same on the other side. And just dropping some of the darker color around the edge. So I'm going to dry this one off so I can start working on these leaves. Okay, so now we're going to work on the leaves. So we're going to need our sap green. You may want to have your pencil handy. Um, so we're going to be working on the next layer of paint, which is the veins. So I'm going to just draw some of these in before I start painting. So for these, we're going to need a pretty deep green because we want it to show up against that lighter color in the background. So for a darker green, more paint, less water. So 
So for this one, I'm actually just going to use it straight from here. So the first thing we're going to do is get some of our paint and we're going to follow these lines and then water, um, add water to the edges to blend it. So I'm going to be doing one side at a time. So I'm going to start over here. You can see that paint is pretty dark and you can use your smaller brush for this also. So we want dark paint along the lines and then rinse your brush off. Get most of the water out and then soften the edges. And for this one I'm going to use the smaller brush with just water. And this brush is probably better to use because you don't want these two touching each other. So if you use the smaller brush, there's less of a chance of you getting a giant blob of water on your brush and then dropping it down on the paper and having everything run together. So I'm going to work on this next section, but make sure to leave a small space in between here. You can see we've got some dark color down. And then there's a little space in here, so I'll just make that dark green. I've got a little space on this half. Rinse it off and just use water. And just be very careful because sometimes water gets um, stuck here and that's another way that can end up on your paper. This, I think, could be a little darker. Um, so remember, I had started out with that shade that was a little more watered down, so I'm going to add some darker paint here. And rinse off my brush and blend it. So it looks a little closer to the rest of that. So the next thing we're going to do is work on this side. And you can leave a space in the middle as well here. Um, later on I end up doing a darker vein down the center. So we're just going to keep doing this over here. So we've got a dark color. I'm covering part of the leaf. Now I've just got water on my brush. And I'm going just down to the next line, but stopping just short of it. If you have trouble um, keeping the fine lines clear of paint, you can alternate which section you're working on. So you would jump around, you would do this one, skip this, do this, skip this, and do that. And then come back and fill those blank spaces in. Um, and while you're waiting for the paint to dry, you can jump over here and work on this side. Okay, 
Here's some deep green. And rinse my brush off. Just use water for the rest of this. And one more section here. And I'll come back up to the top and finish that. Okay, so there's one leaf done. While that's drying, I'm gonna work on this here. So you should have some left leftover of this coral shade that was darker. So we're gonna be using that on half of this little flower bud. So draw in kind of a, a wavy line here and fill in the rest of this with the darker color. And you can also use that with your small brush to add some detail. So I'm just gonna add in some thin strokes here. And then I'm going to grab some green and finish this down here. I put down too much water, so I'm just drying off my brush and sucking up some of the paint. Okay, now we're going to start on this leaf here, so I'm going to turn this so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Start with your dark color, rinse off your brush. So like I was mentioning earlier, you can skip around, so I'll do that with this one. I'm going to skip this middle section and go here. And then while that's drying, I'm going to jump to this space, which is in between, so it shouldn't touch these two. Okay, because then you would go back and fill in these other spaces. You can either wait for it to dry or just be very careful.
Okay, so we've got our leaves done. So we're gonna go back to working on the flower. Okay, so now our leaves are done, and now I'm looking at my flower um, for ways to improve it. I noticed that it's all kind of the same shade, so I want to add a little bit of a darker color in between the petals. So I'm going to use this mix of red, rose, and lemon yellow. And it was the mix, mix with less water in it. So I'm just going to make some of the spaces in between the petals darker. So I'm applying it there and here with my larger brush and then I'm going to rinse my brush off and run it along the edge so that it's blended. And I'm going to take this all the way out just so I don't end up with extra lines in my painting and do the same thing here. And rinse off my brush and just fill this space in. And I'll do it over here. And here. I'll turn this. And just use water. And sometimes I'll start a little bit further away and then have the water meet up with it. You can either do that or just touch the brush to the edge here. Either way works, but sometimes I don't realize how much water I have on my brush, so it's a little bit better to do the water, add the water a little bit further away. And you just want to make sure that you don't have the paint touching here. And I'm going to add some paint there as well. This is still a little bit wet, so I'm avoiding that petal. This is a little bit dark. So I've rinsed my brush off and I'm going back here to soften this. And that's just water. And I'm just dragging water around the other side so that it's all even. Okay, that's a little bit better, so I'm gonna dry this off. Okay, so that's dry. Now we're gonna start working on some of the details. So we're gonna to wanna to mix uh, kind of an orange color so I'm going to use my lemon yellow and the permanent red deep. A little bit of red. Should be darker, so I'm gonna add more paint. Yellow. And 
and some red. Alright, so we're going to try that and if it's not dark enough I'll add some more paint. So I'm going to be using this small brush. And we're just going to paint this whole thing. quite dark enough so I'm going to grab some yellow from the palette and add it directly to the paper so very little water mostly paint okay. while that's drying I'm going to add some details to the rest of the flower, so I'm going to grab some of the permanent red. And we're just going to add lines in between the petals with the small brush. I also want the center to be pretty deep, so I'm going to wait on working on this petal, but over here, start adding some red to the center. Now we've got our center done, and I'm going to add some lines to the petals using this mix of the red, rose, and yellow. So this is the mix that had less water in it, so it should be darker. And then if you want, you can add some little folds around the edges using that same color. I'm just going to add in a couple.
Okay, so now this should be dry enough that we can take some of our red and just add some dots here. And I'm taking it straight from here, not watering it down. You just want to make sure that some of the lighter shade is showing through. Okay, so we are done with that. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. As soon as we're open for curbside again, we'll be posting links to register to receive a kit of materials to complete this class. Just a reminder, our summer reading challenge is still going on. You can fill out a reading log online through July 31st to receive a prize bag of materials. Again, once we're open for curbside pickup again. Take care and I'll see you next time. <music>